Hello, so in the last video we went through all of the uh, possible options according to me uh, to extend your Wi-Fi and I said I'll explain how to connect two uh, uh, old routers like uh, your main router and, uh, as, and the second router as an extender for your Wi-Fi and today is the day and here uh, for the sake of this uh, tutorial or uh, explanation I'm gonna call this one the primary router and this one the secondary router so let's get into it so the default IP address for this router is 192.168.10.1 and the IP address for this secondary router is 192.168.1.1 these are the default IP addresses of these routers how do you find these uh, default IP addresses for these routers uh, well it's uh, pretty simple uh, what you want to do is connect your uh, router to your computer via Ethernet or Wi-Fi and follow these steps. Uh, first of all, you uh, go to the control panel. Then you go to network and internet. Then you go to network connections. And depending uh, upon your connection, either it's connected uh, to a router via a Wi-Fi or a LAN connection. LAN connection is preferred for the initial setup. So uh, whatever it is, uh, click on uh, like right click on that uh, thing. There are the, like two computer icons, uh, uh, either uh, whatever you are connected to it's LAN or uh, Wi-Fi just right click on whatever you're connected on and click on status and uh, when you go to the status page there you'll fi uh, find default gateway find the uh, default IP address which would be 192.168.10.1 or 192.168.1.1 whatever it is or you could use uh, a simpler method. Uh, you could uh, click on start. Then uh, you could uh, you'll write uh, CMD. Then uh, and uh, when you get the search results, uh, you'll see a command prompt. When that opens, you just write uh, IP config. Uh, let me just uh, zoom in for you. I hope that's clear enough. Or this would be good just write uh, this uh, command and then uh, whatever your connection is uh, either it's LAN or uh, Wi-Fi uh, you just go there uh, in the list and you'll uh, see default gateway and uh, you just find the default IP address for uh, your routers uh, uh, make sure to do that for both of your routers, uh, the primary and the secondary one. After you found your uh, default IP addresses for your uh, routers, it's uh, 192.168.10.1 for my primary router. Probably it would be 192.168.1.1 in your case, but in my case it's that way. And for the secondary router, it is 192.168.1.1. Now, notice this, this is called uh, the third octet. We have to make sure the third octet is the same. Otherwise, we won't be able to connect both of the routers. So how you do it? Well, I'm going to show you how and you could easily do that. So let's uh, start from the primary uh, router. In the primary router, you click on the default IP address 192.168.10.1 and you log in into your router setting. In most of the cases, if you don't remember your router's credentials, it is recommended that you reset your router and the default password and uh, login is admin admin. And uh, then you could set up your router. In most cases, it's just admin and no password but whatever it is you can find it online easily 
Okay, so after you log in into your router, you go to the LAN settings. And in the LAN settings, you go to the start IP address bar. Uh, well, uh, there's something where you could just uh, redefine your IP address. So your default IP address remains the same. Don't mess with that. But you have to change your start IP address, which is 192.168.10. And depending upon how many routers you want to connect, I'm just doing it to be on the safe side. Uh, you could uh, just do it two or three, but I, I recommend doing it uh, like at least uh, just uh, do it 192.168.10.10 just in case you want to connect more routers so you don't have to reconfigure this again. As I said, if you want to add more routers. And important thing is that you uh, leave your DHCP server enabled and keep your Wi-Fi SSID and password the same and doesn't matter on the primary side and keep it on channel one. All right, so for the uh, secondary router, what you wanna do is first you log in into the uh, default IP address 192.168.1.1. You'll be directed to the login page of the router uh, once you're directed to the page of the router, you want to log in into your router so you can access the features. But once you've done that, you want to go to the LAN setting. In the LAN settings, you just change the IP address of your router, uh, whichever it's placed like the default IP address. So you just write 192.168.10.2. This is the secondary router. If uh, you want to use more than two routers, uh, just uh, on the third router, it's the same procedure, just 192.168.10, then three, uh, four, five, six, how many you want. It's the same, it's pretty simple. And you uh, keep the DHCP server disabled. So your uh, router, uh, your only router provides uh, IP address for all of your devices. If you enable DHCP server in uh, both of your routers, it will end up getting uh, pretty congested. The network gets congested because uh, the IP address overlaps uh, sometimes. After this is done, your router's main settings will not be available on this router. Uh, instead, it will be available on this uh, IP address, but you won't be able to access it uh, directly uh, because uh, DHCP server is disabled. So. Uh, also, before you change these, you just should uh, make sure that the, uh, it has different SSID from the primary router. Uh, the password does not matter uh, whatsoever. Uh, it's just that you, just, you should keep a good password and uh, it, you should keep a, a different channel. In this case, uh, if, for, for, in this case, for the primary router, it is channel one and it should be channel six for the secondary router so they do not overlap overlapping is not good in general uh, for uh, wireless networks and it is a known overlapping channel one six and nine uh, in 2.4 gigahertz band it's uh, non-overlapping in five gigahertz uh, you could keep it in auto but in 2.4 gigahertz, you should keep it at channel six, the secondary router, and uh, the primary router should be at channel one. After uh, this is done, the settings I told you about, uh, save changes and restart your router. After your router is restarted, uh, you connect your primary router, uh, the whatever port you want, just connect an ethernet cable uh, to the LAN port of your primary router and this the other end of the cable goes to the LAN port of the uh, secondary router not the WAN port not the internet port uh, because uh, we are not using this router's DHCP server so this goes to uh, whatever port you want and I can keep it at port 1, port 3, port 4, port 2, 
whatever port you want. Uh, as long as it's a uh, LAN port, it does not matter. And uh, you should be able to uh, connect more uh, your, of your devices if you want to connect via a LAN uh, port like uh, you want to connect a printer or something like that you could totally connect here if you're uh, using a local uh, uh, NAS or a local server or something like that you could totally connect and after this is done uh, you just run another cable uh, wherever you want and connect that uh, and to this one like I said and the other end into this one uh, like this this is a short cable this is just for demonstration but you just connect both of the LAN ports together and you're good to go and you have a working connection uh, using your old router and it's amazing I think because you're uh, reusing your old router uh, without spending an extra money uh, with that being said don't forget to like share subscribe uh, click on the notification bell uh, so you will be notified whenever I upload a video and I'll guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.